Let the church say amen. Say amen again. Amen, 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 amen. God is good. Hold up now. God is good. And all the time. Amen, 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 amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. Amen. Amen. We're going to begin our service with our deacons. Amen. Testing, test. Oh, okay. That's that better, ain't it? Amen, amen. I feel like I need to sing now. What? Well, you, well, bro, Kyle. Yes, sir. Well, I might need to take your spot, man. What about that? <laughs> <Don't>, <laughs> yeah. I got one. Don't do it. Good morning, church family. Good morning. You know, I'm glad to be in the number once again. I know you are. I'm glad to see y'all, and I know you, you're glad to be able to see me. Um, this morning, if y'all don't mind joining with us. It's another day's journey, and I'm glad. Sisters and brothers, I have a scripture. I have, I have a scripture today. It's coming from First Chronicles, chapter twenty-nine, verse eleven through thirteen. David praying for the church. Amen. If you're able to, if you're able to stand, God will bless you anyway. If you can, verse eleven says this. Twenty-nine, eleven says this. Thine, O Lord, is the greatness. And power in the glory 
and the victory and the majesty for all that is in heaven, in the heaven, and in the earth is thine. Thine is the kingdom, O Lord, thou art exalted as head above all. Both riches and honor come to thee, and thou range over all. In thine hand is power and might. In thine hand it is to make great and to give strength unto all. Now, therefore, our God, we thank thee and praise thy glorious name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You may take your seats. I said the wrong way. <laughs> Good morning, church. We're going to continue this devotional service by doing Hymn 449, Karma Meeting. Must Jesus bear the cross alone and all the world go free? No, there's a cross for everyone. There's a cross for me. How happy are the saints above who once went sorrowing here, but they taste unmingled love and joy without a fear. The consecrated cross, I think. The death shall set me free, and then go home, my crown to wear, for they're the crown for me. Must Jesus bear the cross alone, and all the world go. Father God, in the name of Jesus, yes, yes, 
Lord, we thank you again for this time, dear God. Thank you for this time of prayer right now, dear God. Dear God, we thank you for our early rise this morning. It was not in death, dear God. Dear God, we just thank you for the activity of our limbs on this morning, dear God. Thank you for just being closed in our right minds on this morning, dear God. We just can't thank you enough, dear God. We had 10,000 tongues. We just couldn't thank you enough, dear God. We just thank you this morning for life, health, and strength, dear God. Oh, God, we just pray for the sick and afflicted all over this land and country right now, God. Touch, heal, deliver, and set free right now, dear God. Oh, God, we ask you right now to your Holy Spirit this run up and down the aisles right now, dear God. Touch each and every heart right now, dear God. Dear God, keep the ones that want to be kept right now, God. Save the ones that need to be saved right now, God. In the name of Jesus, dear God. Oh, God, we ask you right now to have your way in this service on today, dear God. Dear God, be with the man or woman like that's going to bring the bread to us on this morning, dear God. Have your way, dear God, like never before, dear God. Oh, God, we just trust in you, believe in, 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 in all things, dear God, that you're doing for us in our lives, dear God, dear God. Do not leave us or forsake us, dear God. Bless us all with that blessing that you see that we stand in need of right now, God, in the name of Jesus, dear God. Oh, God, be with our families, dear God. Be with the ones that's on the way here to this house right now, dear God. Be with the ones that desire to be here that could not be here today, dear God. Oh, God, we ask you to have mercy on us right now, dear God. Have mercy on the lost right now, dear God. Save right now, dear God, in the name of Jesus, dear God. Oh, God, we believe and we love you, dear God. Thank you for what you've done and what you continue to do for us right now, dear God. Oh, God, be with our children, dear God. If they're in school, dear God, we ask you for a hedge of protection around them right now, God. In the name of Jesus, dear God. Even the ones that are way off in school, dear God. Dear God, have mercy on them right now, dear God. Oh, God, we love you this morning, dear God. We glorify you this morning, dear God. We lift you up on the day, dear God. Have your way like never before, dear God. Oh, God, we love you, God. We love you, God. Love on us this morning, dear God. Oh, God, dear God, touch our minds, regulate our minds right now, God. Help our minds and hearts stay on you, dear God. Oh, God, we just thank you and praise you for what you've done and what you continue to do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. God has
I'm tore up already. Early Sunday morning. Praising the living God. He's good. He's faithful. He's my God. My Savior. He's been good. And he's still good. He's going to be good and good. I love the Lord. Ooh, Lord Jesus. Oh, church, 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 I got a praise moment. I got a praise moment. I done lost my mind. Oh, he's I'm caught up. Caught up in the spirit of God. He's been good. Praise. Come on and praise the Lord. He's been good. Why you have a chance, Lord? He's been good. He's been mighty, mighty good. He's been good. Woke me up early this morning. He's been good. Put food on my table. He's been good. I'm so glad God. Y'all going to have to excuse me. Y'all just going to have to excuse me. Because the Lord done something for me. He, he done something for me. But I know we got to go on with the service, but he done something for me. I, 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 I'm just sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't act out of character much. But on this day, <laughs> on this day, let me be about God's business. Let the church say amen. Do we have any visitors visiting with us for the first time? Any visitors for the first time? Everybody has been at the Big M for a minute, huh? Look to your neighbor and say, neighbor, it's good to see you. Let's praise him together. God bless you. God bless you. Let me have, uh, now there's a few announcements. <clears throat> your kindness made a difference and your thoughtfulness and prayers touched my heart thank you for your love and care shown during the time of our bereavement and the loss of my mother we love you all and may God continue to bless you bless you all the Kyla family God bless you good to see you this morning and church family, don't, don't, don't forget our 365 building campaign. That's $1 a day for 365 days. And we got to October 1 to get it done. Y'all say get her done. Get her done. Get her done. Get her done. Amen. Also, we started new members orientation class today. Amen. Let the church say amen. 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 amen, amen. And we had a good little cry. Somebody say amen. And I heard a lot of noise back there. I don't know if any teaching was going on, but I heard some joyful noise back there. Amen. And I want to thank y'all for coming to Sunday school this morning. Okay, 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 okay. Some of y'all came to Sunday school this morning, and it was great. Amen. Amen. And don't forget, Bible study will be this Wednesday. And I need some of y'all to forgive me because there were some people who showed up Wednesday Amen. and they didn't get the message. Amen. But God going to bless you extra Amen. for your effort. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 
Now, Sunday, February 18th, there will be an outreach ministry uh, meeting e immediately after worship. And Reverend Thurman is uh, over that ministry. Amen. So that's, that's on the 18th. We're going to have an outreach ministry meeting. Amen. Amen. All right. On Sunday, February 25th, members are asked to wear uh, their black history attire. And that's on February the 25th. Amen. Amen. And don't forget a time of prayer on Tuesday at 7 o'clock. Amen. 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 And don't forget now, and I want you to remember, I want y'all to remember now, what? What do you say? Bible study at 6 o'clock. What do you say, sister? Next Sunday to wear red. Next Sunday is for heart, heart health awareness next Sunday. So everybody wear what? Red. Got it. Pastor? Amen. Let the church say amen. amen. Man, it's already hot in here. I ain't talking about the heat either. I'm talking about the spirit. Well, them deacons, them deacons got it rolling this morning. And amen. And our minister of music know how to put the icing on the cake. Bless your heart. Anytime you wear a turtleneck, I'm, I know he's going to show out. Amen. Amen. Church, I, I just want to say, I just want to say to you, um, thank you. Thank you for your presence today. Thank you for, for your love. And thank you for that, that wonderful, informative uh, family we, we had last week. Y'all give me some volume on my mic. Amen. And I just wanted today to lift up our sick and our, our shed-in members, Deacon Herbert Terry, Deacon Arthur Terry, Deacon Alvin Lowe, who is here. And, and we got to pray for Deacon Lowe, because Deacon Lowe, he he, you, you sung the hymn this morning. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. I think that's got started then. Then I heard, I heard, I heard yeah, I heard Deacon James William just kind of like, okay, we in the game. All right, thank y'all so much. And Deaconess Viola Henderson, y'all please pray for Miss Viola. That's our mother to church. And Deaconess Evelyn Lowe. And we got our Deaconess Myrtle Williams here today. And I think I spotted Miss Louvenia in the back. Amen. Good to see you. Sister Carla Curry. Sister Margaret Terry, who's in the house this morning. Hey, Miss Margaret. Amen. Amen. Good to see you. Always. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. It's good to be here. Amen. She pressed her way this morning. Sister Vivian Tompkins, Sister Charlene Olton, Sister Flossie Halls, and Brother Daryl Dandy, and Brother Robert Smith. Y'all pray for those persons um, some, some, sometime during this week. Amen. Amen. I think that's all I got. And I just want to tell y'all one thing. We go into higher heights. Amen. All right. All right. All right. I believe, and I want you to believe. Well, Pastor, I don't see that. I just believe. I want you to take on that, that mindset. I believe. I believe. Well, where's it coming from? I just believe. And not by sight. Amen. That's all I got. Amen. 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 <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Time for time for tithes and offerings. Would you please stand, face the wall, and follow the guidance of the urchins? Thank you.
our Father. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Our Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name we pray. Yes. Pardon me one more and again and another time calling on you one more time. Yes. yes. Father, I come as woman as I know how to come. Yes. I come wounded, worried, and sad. Yes. And I, I found in you a resting place. Yes, sir. And Father, I come just to say thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Father, I thank you for all of our manifestments. Yes, I, yes. Because uh, you've been good to us, Father. Yes, yes. Uh, look what you did for us last night. Uh, yes. You let us lay down and got a good night's sleep. Uh, yes. And you woke us up this morning yes. to the dawn and our new day. Yes. Uh, and I thank you for it. Thank uh, you, thank you. And Father, I thank you for this offering. Uh, yes. And I ask you, Father, to bless each and every one that gave yes. in this offering. Yes. Bless those that want to give and did not have to give. Yes. I ask you to bless in Jesus', Jesus. name. Yes. And thank God. Thank God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Come on, Mayor Court. Go! 
feel like running, feel like running, feel like running, feel like running, I feel like running, feel like running, I feel like shout, feel like shouting, feel like shout, feel like shouting, feel like shouting, feel like shouting, I feel like shout, feel like shouting. Turn to 
to my left side and I found out somebody sick somebody in a hospital somebody the past and go on 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 every time I look I see heal and heal and heal and more heal and more heal and more heal Over my life, over my life, and I look back, look back over my life. You know what? This is what I see. I see all the hills, I see all the mountains, I see all the valleys. Come on now. The 
It's all right to feel what you feel. But just know God didn't bring you this far to leave you. I've been waiting all morning for this shout. Yeah. I'm trying to contain myself back there. Yeah. But, but, but when I think about how good it been, Dean, my soul is crying hallelujah. Yeah. I'm giving him the high praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the highest praise I can give him yeah. is my obedience. Because it's better than my sacrifice. Yes, sir. We in the house, y'all. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Rib, I don't know. I don't know. You know, when God make things so clear to you, no matter what they say, he lining, he lining, he lining the house up. Yes, 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 yes. yes he is. Said so wheat and tear grow up together. Yes, he did. But God gonna do the separate. Yes, he will. Yes, he did. God is in the harvesting season now. Yes, he is. He's sending some good folk here. Put in our pathway, Rip. That's right. I'm just gonna say my prayer because I'm, I'm just so excited. I'm excited. I'm excited to see you, and I'm, and I'm so excited that you can see me. Yeah. Now I want to see you. I hope you want to see me. Yeah. Father, thank you. Thank you, Father God. Yes. For this another day. Yes. One that we have not seen before. Mm -hmm. yes, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank For this particular you. assignment. Yes. At this particular place. Yes. So, Father, now I ask you to hide me behind the shadow of Calvary's cross. Yes. And let your people hear and see you. Yes. And I won't fail to give you the glory. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Can, can, I, can I just do something, y'all? The spirit is so high. He with me. And, and, and you're right, there's a shift in the atmosphere. And the enemy done got mad. I'm sorry, enemy. But I'm standing on the promise. Yeah. The naysayers have took a back seat. Yeah. And those who throw stuff out that don't add value to our ministry, you are the terror. And you're in a dangerous spot. I just want to put you on notice. That's real talk, man, bro. That's been revealed in my spirit, and I got to share it with you because you're here. And if you didn't know, now you know. <laughs> amen? Amen, amen. There is a word, though. There's a word. There's a word. There's a word. Exodus. We could exit out of some things. Exodus. Stand to your feet, will you please reverence God's word. Exodus, the third chapter. Verse 7 through 12. And the minister music. Boy, you, you get good and good. My Lord. You just grown today. Yeah, he got something going on. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Exodus, Exodus 3. What do you say, real? Bless her, not me today. Bless your heart. Third chapter, verse 7 through 12. And it reads. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the oppression of my people who are in Egypt and have heard their cry because of their taskmasters. For I know their sorrow. So I have come down to deliver them out of the hands of the Egyptians and to bring them up 
from that land to a good and large land, mm. to a land flowing with milk and honey, right. to the place of the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites and the Parasites and, and the Hivites and, and the Jebusites. Now therefore, behold, the cry of the children of Israel has come to me, and I have seen the oppression which with Egyptians oppressed them. Come now. Somebody say, come now. Come now. Therefore, and I will send you to Pharaoh that you may bring my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. Hello. But Moses said, he said to God, who am I? that I should go to Pharaoh uh, and that I should bring the children of Israel out of Egypt. Come on now, come on, sir. So he said, I will certainly be with you and this shall be a sign to you that I have sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you shall serve God on this mountain. You may be seated. On this mountain. On this mountain. On this mountain. He yes, said, I will serve you on this mountain. This mountain. I, I'm, I'm real, I'm, Sarah, I'm, re, I'm real, I'm real sympathetic with mm -hmm. Moses. Okay. Okay. Because see, Moses had a weakness. Mm -hmm. And his weakness was his speech impediment. Okay. So I want to talk from a subject. Uh -huh. Don't let your weakness Wait. hinder your greatness. All right. All right. Don't allow your weakness hinder your greatness. Uh, Moses, Brooke Harris, is the author that penned this book. Mm -hmm. The book of Exodus, which means exit or departure. See, the purpose, Sister Pauline, of this sermon is to let us know that God uses our weakness mm -hmm. to accomplish great things in our lives. Reverend Dunbar, I, I, I would like to encourage you today to let you know that, that the weak areas in your life is your greatest asset. Amen. Am I right about it? Amen. Because your weakness won't allow you to become overconfident in your ability as to what you can do. In other words, Deacon Lowe, your weakness will make you more dependent on God. And when you depend on God... He will reveal the greatness in you. All right. Now here in our text, I got to go to the text. In our text, we will meet a man by the name of Moses, who is one of the most recognized names in biblical history. As we do a background check on Moses and see some of the things that he went through, he, he would seem like an unlikely candidate that God can use. Am I talking to anybody yes, here? But, but, but may I inform you that God uses who he chooses. Yes, right. In other words, God don't always call the qualified. Yes, right. But he qualifies everyone that he calls. That he calls. Yeah, yeah. Uh, am I right about it? Yeah. The, the Bible said that the angels of the Lord appeared to Moses in the form of a burning bush. Yeah. Now that don't, that the burning bush did not burn up. So that's an indication, Reverend Andrew, that when God want to use you, huh, no matter what you're doing, he can show up in your life. Yes, he can. All right, now. Yes, he can. Some folk think that they must be perfect to serve in ministry. Oh, I'm not perfect. Huh? Is that why you're not working in ministry? Because you think you've got to be Perfect. I come to help somebody. Yes, sir. If you want to step into greatness, you must get in the presence of God. Yes. All right. Huh? The Bible says when the Lord said to Moses, and he saw Moses had gone to look at this strange thing that took place, the Lord called Moses from within the bush. Amen. Somebody say call him from within the bush. Yeah, yeah. The, the bush wasn't gonna burn up, Reverend Andrew, but 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 Jesus. God was talking from within the bush. Uh -huh. That's right. That's right. That don't make sense to me. All right. But when God want to use you, uh -huh. you got to be in the right place at the right time. Am I right about it? 
See, when God wants to reveal his greatness in you, strange things take place. All right, now. Am I right about it? Strange things take place, Randy, that, that we won't be able to understand in our carnal mind. In other words, your weakness is your greatest. Because in your weakness, we become humble so God can use us. See, people sometimes develop negative attitudes due to their weakness that will hinder their greatness. But I got three things to help you out, Ashley, this morning in light of the fact that all of us, all of us, y'all act like y'all so, so, all of us have a weakness that hinders our spiritual growth, that overshadows our greatness. Can I say that again? All of us have a weakness that stirs our spiritual growth, Amen. that overshadows our greatness. Amen. I tell you what, allow me some pen time. I want to share three things yes, that I found in the text. Cause right. I found three things. Okay. I found three things. The, the, the first thing I found um, with Moses is he allowed God to order his steps. He did. He did. And, 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 and if we're going to follow Christ, we got to yes. let him order our steps. Yeah, yeah. The second thing I, I found that's so prevalent in the church today is we got to stop making excuses. Oh, oh my Lord. Mm. Work that one. Just saying. Work, work that one now. Because see, when you stop making excuses, well, then God got your back. That's the third thing. Rev, Rev, you ride with me this morning. You ride shotgun this morning, but let's let's do it. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. See, when we come to a place in our lives uh-huh. where we think that our help is not needed mm-hmm. because of who we are yeah, yeah. and what we have done, yeah. we will miss out on the opportunity mm-hmm. to become all that we can be. Amen. I know I'm talking real talk. Yeah. In our text, mm-hmm. God, God had a conversation with Moses mm-hmm. to express his concerns about his people in Egypt. He, he told Moses, Dick and William, that, that he seen their misery yeah. and he was concerned about their suffering. That's right. That's and the text says, so I have come down to rescue them from the Egyptians yeah. and bring them to a spacious land, a land with milk, flowing with milk yeah. and honey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flowing. Flowing. Macedonia, yes, sir. we're going to a land that's, yeah, right. yeah. Flowing. that's flowing yeah. with milk and honey. And after the Lord expressed his concern with Moses, he began to set Moses up for becoming a man of valor. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Am I right about it, Deacon Love? Yes, in, in other words, he ordered Moses' steps for the greatness mm-hmm. that he was about yeah. to embark on. Oh. We, we must understand that, that when God orders our step, mm-hmm. we will somehow have to go at his command. Yes, and I want to suggest that your greatness don't come from you. Mm. Hey, turn my mic up, cause somebody. Uh, I, I don't think they heard it. Junior, you didn't get that, did you? I, I want to let you know that 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 your greatness did not come from you. Well, well, Miss Pauline, please. Okay. Just in case you thought you did it all by yourself, my Lord. Just in case you thought you accomplished all this stuff on your own, your, your greatness did not come from you. See, you don't become great yeah. until you line your will up yeah. with God's will. Right. All right. Am I right about it? Yes, and then I read further in the text. The text says, the Lord said, go. 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 I'm sending you to bring my people, my the Israelites, out of Egypt. Yeah. Yeah. See, when God orders our steps, yes, he already has a protection plan in place. Yeah. Yes, does. Yeah. And, and because of his protection plan, mm-hmm. our weakness yes, fades away. Uh-huh. But the Bible says, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the whole world. Amen. Moses acted out of obedience yeah. and, and became a willing vessel yes. to be used by God. Yes. 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 I don't know about y'all, but I want to be a willing vessel to Amen. be used by God. Amen. But now the devil, he got some folk, huh, that's willing to stop God's program. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. And they, they willing now. You, you, you know why? They, 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 they listen to gossip. My God. 
They spread rumors. Yeah, they oh, no. uh -huh. Huh? Yeah. They, they, they won't come to church on time. Oh, no. <laughs> study out the question. Yeah. They don't want to study to show themselves the proof. Right. Yes, right. And, and see, when you don't do those things, right. am I right about it? Yes, you become a vessel to be used by the enemy. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on now. Because you won't be able to decipher right from wrong. I heard the song when he said, I turned to my left side. And I turned to my right side. Well, sometimes you got two voices in your ear. The natural man is sat there, and that's what he loves. The flesh is weak. Weak, weak, weak. You got to feed that spirit man. So you won't become a vessel for the enemy. See, but Moses. Mo it took Moses out of his comfort zone. Yeah, Am yeah. I right about it? Because he was content at doing what he was doing. Yes, but I must remind you that when God give us an assignment, mm -hmm. we must step out on faith. Yeah. Am I right, Deacon Wayne? You got to step out on faith yeah. and allow him to order your step. Because it is dangerous for us to take a detour. Mm -hmm. Because when we don't follow God's instructions, yeah. we'll be met with challenges that will expose our weakness yes. and hinders our greatness. Yes. After Moses got his orders from the Lord, he began to make excuses yes. as to why he couldn't go. Wow. Which the second thing, actually, we've been to put it down. Okay, the second thing, stop making excuses. Erica, you, 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 you with me this morning? Okay, okay. Allow me to tell you what an excuse is. Yeah, yeah. Can I tell y'all? Yeah. Now, now, now watch this, Miller. Yeah. It is a premeditated thought. Mm -hmm. And the reason is, you thought about the excuse mm -hmm. before you made it. Yeah. All right, now. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, okay, Go ahead, ahead, sir. Well, That's good right there, now. Uh -huh. Did you cut right? Uh -huh. That's good. An excuse uh -huh. is a form of weakness mm -hmm. that hinders your greatness. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, God knows what we're capable of doing. That's mm -hmm. right. He, he knows that, that we have fear. And he knows when we don't want to do something that he asks us to do. Yeah, yeah. But in our text, Reverend Dunbar, mm -hmm. after Moses got his instructions from God, mm -hmm. he began to make excuses. Yeah. Because he felt inadequate yeah. for the job. Yeah, yeah. The text says, Moses said to God, who am I, who am I? that I should go to Pharaoh yeah, yeah. and bring the Israelites out of Egypt? So I'm saying to myself, who am I? To bring the church yeah. Yeah. from an Egypt mentality. Yeah, yeah. Am I right about it? See, Moses tried to make his appeal to God by telling God something that he already knew. Hallelujah. Know. Yeah, 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 yeah. God already knows. Yeah. And sometimes in our lives, we make excuses to God because we don't be feel worthy to be used by God. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Where you at, Bridget? Yeah. But God. Is in the business. Watch this now. It's going to help somebody. God is in the business for using those whose society had counted out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And he did it to show that no one is beyond reach. Yes, Moses didn't want to go to face to face with Pharaoh because there was something in his past that wasn't, he wasn't ready to face. It's something in your past. Whoop. Yeah, yeah. Somebody got hey. something in their past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Have mercy, God. Fred. Yes, sir. Somebody got something in their past. Yes, sir. Yeah. And, and they have developed an Egypt mentality. Yeah. My God. They, they don't want to depart from it, and they don't want to depart with it. Yeah. My Lord. They, they want to hold on to what's comfortable. For well, Egypt. Mentality stops you from yes, sir, stepping into greatness. Yeah, yeah. See, we're gonna have to stop making excuses right. about our past. Right. Yeah. Now, Liz, Paul said in Philippians 3 and 13, yeah. forget what's behind you. Ah. Yes, sir. Yeah. And press forward yeah. to what lies ahead. Yeah. See, it yeah. didn't matter what excuses Moses came up with, yeah. God had a solution. Yeah, he did. Yeah. So I'm gonna tell you today, it don't matter what. Excuse you come up with. God got a solution and he got a plan. Yes, he does. And, and that's the way God works in our yeah, life. Yeah. God, God has a solution to our excuses. Yes. And that is to totally commit yourself to him. Mm -hmm. 
But we can't be straddling the fence in our commitment. You can't be straddling the fence in our commitment. You can't be hot and cold. No, sir. That's right. That's right. We got some lukewarm no. folk that won't benefit with our commitment. And there are some folk that allow their excuse to dominate their greatness. Yeah. Am I right, Evangelist Burton? Yeah. See, God was aware that Moses made excuses yeah. because he, he, want, he want, didn't want to face his fears. But God made him a promise to let him know that he had his back. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Which is the third thought that I found in the text. God's got your back. Yes. Yes. Yes, he does. God has got your back. Yeah. See, it's always good to know that you're in good company. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's good to be in the company of others who are on the same accord that you are on. It's been said that iron sharpens iron. In other words, when we strive for greatness, it will take others to bring out the best in us. Sometimes the bad can bring out the best in us. We shouldn't feel intimidated by our weakness. Because when we are in Christ, we can do all things. In our text, I'm going home. God said to Moses, he said, I will, I will be with you. Yes, yeah, yeah. And when God has your back, yeah. you won't be able, you will be able, yeah, yeah. you will be able yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. to do the impossible. Yes, sir. Because God said, he said, before my word fell, he said, heaven and earth will pass away. God told Moses, he said, I got your back. And the proof will be when you bring the people out of Egypt. Then you will know that it is I, I say that it is I who sent you Macedonia when we move from location to destination you will know that it is I who have sent you in other words when God has our back he brings us out of bondage and captivity we won't be able to take credit for it because the text says when you bring the people out you will worship God on this mountain Brothers and sisters, I stopped by today to tell you that you're in the right place at the right time. Am I right about it? You've got to come to praise God in this mountain. I stopped by today to let you know that whatever the weakness that have allowed you to be hindered your greatness, take it to the Lord. I say take it to the Lord in prayer because he He's got your back. You no longer have to live in the shadow of your fear because God, God's got your back. Don't let your weakness hinder your greatness. Moses came to the conclusion that God's will will be done. So what I'm saying to us today, that if we let God order our steps, and we stop making excuses and know that God, he has your back. And I look at the text, Brother Wilbur, I'm reminded of Paul when he asked Jesus, he said, Jesus, remove this thorn from my side. And Jesus replied, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power. Is made perfect yes. in your weakness. Yes, so, Minister Felder, yes. I encourage you today to talk to yourself rather than listen to yourself. Yes. I say, talk to yourself yes, rather sir. than listen to yourself. Yes. Spend some time each day with God 
because it recenters and your attention and recalibrate, recalibrate your life to be more connected to God. Am I right about it? And you will, I say you will be able to overcome your weakness so that you can walk. Somebody say walk. I say you can walk. Come here, Miss Mo. Let's let's walk. I wanna walk. I wanna walk in my greatness. I don't know about you, but I know the enemy, he come to steal, kill, and destroy. But I come today to tell you, when you give it to Jesus, when you give it to the one who came down from God in two generations, when the one who suffered many things on our behalf, I'm talking about the one who was accused and abused. I'm talking about the one yes, who went to carry for you and I and Come Brother Randy. The Come good on, news man. is, the good news is, and yes, the reason sir. you and I can walk into greatness is because on that third day morning, yes. oh my Lord, yes. I say on that third day morning, I say somebody help me. Stand to your feet and shout the third day morning. He rose, he rose with authority and power in his hand. So you and I have the power to be great. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Yes, sir. Yes, Jesus. Yes, sir. Glory, glory, glory. Can I say something to help somebody? Yes, sir. We are not defined by our weaknesses. And we're not defined by what we go through. Amen. Oh, God got your back. Yes, sir. All you got to do is have a desire. Yes, sir. Become willing to be used by God. I feel so liberated I came out of Egypt. Yes, sir. Huh? And I think you helped got me out of Egypt. And you allowed me to stand on the promise because you showed me the way. You knew the way. When I left Egypt, he can wake him down free. And I made myself free to serve him. Free. Because before I got free, free. I was in Egypt. Yes, sir. Free the end of the day. I couldn't think no further than I could see. Hallelujah. And at that time, my sight was bad, so I couldn't see very far. But I'm free. But I'm free now. Free. And if yeah. I could sing a song, give me Z flat, John. I'm going to sing one verse, and I want you to take it, go, you know, no, no more. But I got to sing this because it's in my spirit. Yeah. Right. Ernestine, I want you to help me. I am free. Praise the Lord. I'm free. That's what he did for me now. What he did. No more chains holding me. My soul is resting. It's just a blessing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All right, let me get it one more time. Go ahead, Johnny.
The doors of the church open. The doors of the church open. You can come to this church three ways. You can come by letter. You can come by watch camp. You can come by Christian experience. But I want to suggest you need a covering. Hallelujah. I knew you was coming. I knew you was coming. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Is there another? Is there another? You can recommit yourself if you like. Christian experience. What? Monique. Hallelujah. Now I want y'all to come behind me. And I want Monique to stand, and stand up right here. There you go. Face the front. There you go. Okay, now you can turn around. All right. And we have Alicia Vera. She's coming under Christian experience. Not my, not, 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 not my Lisa. Come on, Lisa. Welcome home, sister. receive our added member by saying, Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. That's all it takes. But now, you came on the Christmas fair, and now we're going to go to work. Amen. 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 I, I need to see y'all 9 o'clock next Sunday morning yes. in the back for new memorialization. We're going to do this thing right. The house is getting in order. Amen. 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 Y'all got some work to do. Now listen, I want, I want, I want all our deaconess, our deacons, and our preachers to come around, and we're gonna welcome you to the church. Welcome, welcome home. This is home. Amen. Amen.
come home. Yes, Lord Jesus. <clears throat> you know, church family, I just, I just feel like I've been to church and worship today. I really do. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Of whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Welcome home, sir. Of whom shall I be afraid? At this time, we just want to have our altar call. And at this time, if you would just come forward for our altar prayer. And whatever you have in your heart, even if you just want to say, God, I thank you. Come to the altar and say, God, I just want to give you my highest praise. And Evangelist Burton is going to lead us in our, in our altar call. And then we will have our communion service. But our God is a faithful God. And he can take our weakness and become our greatness. Minister Burton. Oh God, our God, our strong God, our mighty God, our powerful God, our unstoppable and unbeatable God. We come to you this morning, God, and we cast all of our cares at your throne. First of all, God, we say thank you, Lord. Thank you for how your spirit has moved today. Thank you, God, for how you've moved in our life, how you've interceded on our behalf. We thank you, God, for how you kept us from the cradle even into this moment. Lord, now we say, God, touch every need in this place. Meet every need in this place. We especially call upon you, God, those that are on our sick list, God. Miss Margaret Terry, those that are in the place, God, that might not feel their best. We pray right now, God, that you would strengthen God, that you would build up God, that you would restore God for a mighty work that we have to do. Now, God, we pray that you will restore into this man of God. We pray that you would give him, God, all that he's poured out. Return it right now tenfold. We pray, God, that you would bless each and every one of us that's in this place with what we stand in the need of. Lord, we say have your way in and through us. We thank you, God, for how you moved in advance for us. We praise you, God, and we give you honor and glory. For we know that you are able to do exceeding, abundantly, above all that we can ask or think. And right now, God, we cry out in victory. Amen. 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 conversation, he 
told them to examine themselves before they partake of the meal. And he told them, say, now, if you partake of this meal, I do not want you to eat and drink damnation upon yourself. So, so he <coughs> told them, say, don't judge your brother. a short devotional service. We're going to do <coughs> hymn 350, short meeting. Come ye that love the Lord, and let your joy be known. Join in the song of sweet accord, and dust around the throne. Let those refuse to sing, who never knew our God, but the children of the heavenly King may speak their joy abroad. Come ye that Thank you, right? Thank now. you, thank you. Father, I want to personally say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being good to me, Father. Yes. Being good to my family, Father. Yes, Lord. Right now, Father, we need you. Yes. My church family needs you. Yes. Father, we calling on you, Father, because right now, Father, we just going through things. Father, yes, Lord. You're the only one that we can call on, lean and depend on, Father. Right now, Father, we just thank you for the word that's been delivered today. Yes. The word that's that was touching to me. Yes, a Lord. word that that we need to be with us throughout this week, Father. Now, Father, we, we just want to personally thank you for this communion, Father. Uh -huh. yes. Father, whatever it whatever it is on the inside, Father, if it's not of you, Father, we ask you to clean us up from the inside out. Yes, right? Father, yes, only yes. you can do it, Father. Uh -huh. Father, this is my prayer. In your son Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Amen. 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 Amen.
the blood that Jesus shed for me way back on Calvary the blood From day to day, it will never lose his power. The blood that Jesus shed for. The blood that gives me strength from day. up here, please, sir. Evangelist Burden, come around the table. Amen. Yeah. Come on. Yes, come in here. Come in here, Mr. Mr. Burden. Oh, you did it. Okay.
this bread represents his broken body. As often as you eat, do this in remembrance of me. Let us eat together. This wine represents the blood that was shed for us. As often as you eat, you do this. Do this in remembrance of me. Let us do it together. And the Bible teaches us after they ate and drank together, they went out to a hill called Mount of Olives. We don't have old Mount of Olives here today, but we got old Mean World. So we're going to sing ourselves, and then we're going to come back with our, our closing prayer. Amen. you go nowhere. I need to talk to you. Come on. My Lord. Go ahead, John. Happy birthday to you. Come on and give God a hand clap of praise. Come on, if you know God has blessed you today, you know he met you in this place. We've given him glory. He's blessed us from time and time again. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We give you glory, God. We give you honor. We thank you for this day. We thank you for everything you've already done, God. So, Father, God, as we leave this place, but never your presence, God, go with us, be with us, God. Prepare ye the way, God. God, and we thank you that we will give you the praise, we'll give you the glory, and the honor. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. amen. Let the church, let the church.